This is like the bridge that signified the start of South America for us. This is leaving Rio. This is heading out on the open road. It feels like that the trip is just starting right now. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day 186 on our around the world trip. <laughs> Yeah, it's 9 a.m. and we are here in our hotel room in Rio de Janeiro. We had a really peaceful night last night because we knew today will be the day that we can finally leave the town behind. Yes! <laughs> we are hitting the road! <laughs> yes! It's been almost two and a half weeks since Bumblebee arrived here at the port of Rio. So it's been a very, very long time for us to just wait and we were sweating and crying and it was really really hardcore stuff going on <laughs> but finally we can leave everything behind and just hit the road yes bumblebee is free and the service has been done bumblebee is ready for the road so it's time for us to hit the road it's time for us to leave the city so let me show you guys where we're heading today okay so we are starting our journey here in rio de janeiro and we are first going to take a little loop around the city. You can't really see the roads, but a little loop around the city before crossing over the bridge across Guanabara Bay to Niteroi before taking the coast road away from the city, hoping to camp somewhere around here. Yes, actually, surprisingly, we are not starting by heading south, but we're gonna first take a small loop just north of the city. So we thought we'd spend a couple of days heading in that direction and go and check them out. Please, please guys, before you continue watching, hit this subscribe button right now. <laughs> so we have about 100 miles today, a nice easy start to the trip. So better hit the road, let's go. That was a sweaty start. <laughs> a little workout before we hit the road. Ooh. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Oh my God. Look at this. Whoa, Bumblebee has never been so ready in her entire existence. That is crazy. We've got our new shiny radiator guard here. Wow. And look at these beautiful new black duffel bags that we've added for a little bit of extra space. And they suit it so nice. Oh my God. And look, look, look. We got a little Brazil flag going on as well. <laughs> I think it's time to jump on and do a little tour of the city. Oh, fire up. <laughs> oh my God. My little seat here. <laughs> <laughs> and you're fitting nicely in between all the bags? <laughs> yes. It's like you've got a little throne back there. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, look, there's a little bee. Hello. But did you know that the bees in Rio are all stingless? So you have nothing to fear from them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Okay. Our little house on wheels. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> we have finally packed up from our hotel rooms. We've moved around so much in the city to different areas, different places. We've explored so much, but now this is it, you know? This is just us back on Bumblebee. This is, oh, it's a momentous day. It's been so long that you get really comfortable yeah. in a hotel room and you ask yourself like how can I actually travel on two wheels around the world like you know you get like um, a little yeah. bit nervous again you know it's like you get you get the adrenaline you need <laughs> yeah tomorrow morning I'm gonna be thinking like uh, where's my free breakfast go down to the dining hall for my free breakfast and coffee no 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 we have to make it ourselves now that's it this that's is the it. hotel on wheels we are the staff we're the manager and the guests. 
<laughs> we're carrying a lot of food at the moment. Uh, yes. We kind of over prepared. We've got rice, we've got couscous, we've got beans, we've got noodles. <laughs> we have like so much food. We have everything. We, we could feed like a whole football team. <laughs> That's true. We're on the road now. We're going to be camping as much as possible, as long as it's not raining or crazy storms. And we're going to be eating, cooking ourselves. We've got three bottles of gas. We want to be self-sufficient now, that's the idea. We've been relying on everything around us in the city and spending too much money. And now we need to be self-reliant, we need to save money. So in this area here is actually where Rio um, started pretty much. Of course now the famous areas are in the south like Copacabana, Ipanema. Originally Rio was just this north part of the city, Centro, Santa Maria. Lapa and this is where we've been staying for the last few weeks in the building just in front one of these tall buildings But the downtown area is pretty quiet today because it's a public holiday today So actually it's quite a calm day to be on the roads of Rio I don't know exactly everything about this public holiday, but as far as I can tell it's called a parasida and it's about um, Mary the Virgin Mary uh, the legend is that in the 1700s some fishermen prayed to the Virgin Mary for a bountiful fishing catch and uh, they got it and at the same time they also fished up or discovered this small black clay Virgin Mary statue it's like two or three feet tall and yeah they attributed you know their catch to Mary's blessing basically from then on this little statue of the Virgin Mary has been basically worshipped and they have this national public holiday dedicated to this little Virgin Mary statue it's quite incredible <laughs> it is incredible Hi guys. Uh, England Germany yeah, they're good, they're good! <laughs> A little bit of German on the road. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, Sugarloaf Mountain is in a cloud. <laughs> yes. It's a cloudy day, but it's still like a stunning location here. Yeah, we've left the downtown financial area of the city with all the big skyscrapers and stuff. And now we're heading into the south, the more green tree-lined avenues of the south. And also where all the beautiful beaches are. People are out and about enjoying the public holiday. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So here's a little tunnel that heads under one of the mountains. And I think there's a couple of tunnels. And then we come out on the other side at Copacabana Beach. Oh, it's a blockage as well. We've had to make a few detours already on this on this trip around the city. It looks like they're for the holiday, I don't know, for roadworks or something, they've blocked off quite a few of the main streets. So actually, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get down to Copacabana Beach, but we'll see. It looks like we're only about two or three blocks from the beach. I can see at the end there where the buildings stop and the ocean begins. <laughs> yes. So let's see if we can go. We've made it to Copacabana Beach and there's so many people here, it's crazy! Yeah, it looks like a really, really cool beach day actually because a lot of people are out and about. Oh my god, yeah, it's packed! Look, there's loads of people playing volleyball. 
it's very much a beach for playing volleyball or drinking caipirinha, which is like a Brazilian cocktail. That's pretty much the only two things that people do on Copacabana Beach. <laughs> and you can see at the end of the beach, it's uh, framed by this beautiful, amazing bit of rock that sticks out. Such a beautiful vista around here, it's amazing. Absolutely, absolutely. we've reached the end of Copacabana Beach just gonna turn around we will try and swing by Ipanema on our way out of Rio dooch de dooch young and lovely and the girl from Ipanema comes walking and welcome to Ipanema Beach so as you can see it's quite a lot like Copacabana Beach but it's just a little bit less commercialized oh look at that guy whoa <laughs> it's busy it's busy <laughs> but we also spent a day wandering up and down this beach as well and it's really really nice it's a really lovely beach yeah it's actually really long I think we walked for about four kilometers just along the beach <laughs> the Brazilians, they know how to enjoy life. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could see here on the camera, but uh, at the end of Ipanema Beach is a very famous favela that runs up the hill. Part of the hill up there is just full of, of makeshift houses. And these are actually tourist attractions now here in Brazil. You can actually do tours to go and actually visit the favelas. Oh, that looks like it's the end of Ipanema, Ipanema Beach. Now it's time to make our way over to the massive bridge that takes us out of the city across Guanabara Bay and over to Niteroi on the other side. So we'll catch you when we get closer to the bridge. Oh no, guys, we really wanted to show you the most famous attraction in Rio, Christ the Redeemer statue up on the top of the, uh, <laughs> the rock. It's literally right in front of us. But as you can see, it's all cloud. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Christ the Redeemer! <laughs> the mountain that Christ the Redeemer sits on is called Corcovado. So we've got out of the city a little bit now and you can see we're just coming past the port of Rio where Bumblebee actually arrived somewhere over there in that sea of containers <laughs> one of those containers carried our little champion over from Africa that's crazy yeah. there are so many containers oh my god so many containers that is huge yes we're just on the run up now to the bridge that crosses over from one side of Guanabara Bay to the other from the city of Rio to the city of Niteroi on the other side this is a really long bridge I don't know how long maybe like 10 kilometers don't know if you guys can see it in front it is huge oh my god I was thinking of this moment looking at this bridge I was dreaming of just riding over it and getting out of the city for such a long time now <laughs> This is like the bridge that signified the start of South America for us. This is leaving Rio. This is heading out on the open road. Oh yeah. my God. Exactly. It feels like that the trip is just starting right now. Yeah. Wow. And you can see over there, I can't really swing my head around much further, but that is Rio over there behind us now, leaving Rio behind.
We've come to the end of the bridge and there's actually a toll booth. Bon dia, yeah. bon dia. Yeah. It was actually three reales. Wow, that's really cheap. That is really cheap. Ooh, that was a crazy nearly two hour ride <laughs> so far around Rio. But we are now here. We've just arrived in Niteroi on the other side of Guanabara Bay. So we thought we'd pull in at a petrol station uh, and have a little rest, have a roll. Lavi boiled us some eggs. Yeah, and this time we have a little bit uh, of green stuff as well. <laughs> Cucumber! Ooh, Vitamins, minerals, very high number. Cucumber. All right. We have made our way out of Niteroi city uh, through the small town called Marisa and now we've hit the coast again. So I think this actually next to us is a lagoon, right? Lagoon de Murcia. <laughs> lagoon de Murcia, okay. Yes. But I saw some signs for some praias, some beaches. Whoa, look at this. Way. Cool. So there's like a bunch of lagoons here next to the ocean. Wow. A lagoon on the left and a lagoon on the right. Yes. And there's like this narrow strip of land in front. And on the other side of this strip of land, I can see on the map, that's the ocean. Oh, people are swimming. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's nice. Aha. <laughs> we have the ocean yes. in front. Nice. I think this will be a good place for us to have a little stop and chill. Yes. Look at that. Look at the size of this beach. It just stretches off in that direction, in that direction for a long, long way. It's really nice. It's much more quiet than the city beaches, much more wild. These guys just given us some pineapple. <laughs> What's pineapple. Uh, pineapple. Uh, uh, Portuguese? No, abacaxi. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. oh. That's really nice. Really sweet. Really nice. These guys have a combi. Really cool combi. Which is really common here. They're amazing. Okay, ready? <laughs> ciao, ciao! Which side of the road are we supposed to be on? Um, yeah, on this side here. It's ah! ah! <laughs> time to find a nice camping. Yeah, so we've probably got <clears throat> maybe up to an hour left to go, right? Yeah. Before we get over to where we want to be camping. In Sakarema. It's now coming up to half past three. So yeah, we should get to the camp about half four. That's alright. Between the beach and wow. the lagoon. Look at this narrow strip of land in between the two. That's wow. crazy. Wow. It's absolutely lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, it's Whee! really nice. There's pretty much just beaches all the way along this part of the coast which is why so many people like to take excursions out from Rio to go along this coast and that's why all the locals in Rio were telling us oh you've got to go along this coast, Sacarema, Arayal do Cabo, Buzios so this is the direction we're heading
right, our first try for a campsite. We're just like five miles out of Sakurema. So we're gonna try this first place that we found on Google Maps. Okay, it's not this one, but the next one to the left. Alrighty. Let's have a look. And then it should be just, just here. On the left or the right? I don't know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's always like hit and miss with campsites, hey? Yeah. I, ca I can't see a sign for camping. No, me neither. I can't see anything to do with camping. Okay, I'm just gonna pause here for a second whilst we have a little look at the map. Okay, so we've had a little look at the map and uh, we've gone for another campsite, but this one has some pictures, some reviews, definitely looks a lot more legit. And it's also uh, much closer to Sakurema, so it's about 20 minutes along, back along the coast. So we'll just uh, get back to the coast road, which is, is just this one in front. Just make our way along to Sakurema. Okay, it looks like we're coming up to our second campsite try. 300 feet, 200 feet. Yeah, should be just okay. here. Just here, I think. Hola. Hola. Camp camping. Uh, to the bank. Do you speak English? Oli, Oli. Oli. Everest. 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 Ah, uh, uh, hola. Where are you from? Uh, from England. Inglaterra. Germany. Germany. Yeah. Germany. Obrigado. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. Which? Ah. Just here. Ah, oh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Kitchen area. Nice. Look at this place. This place is so chilled, so cool. It's got a fire going down at the bottom. Nice. I think we will set up our camp. Woo! That looks good. Uh, Juicy. <laughs> only the, the, the inside. Only the inside. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Mm. How is it? Mm. Very, very. Mm. Mm. Abu. Abu. Uh, uh, ah. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. That part is sweet. The seed is really bitter. But. <laughs> Sweetheart, you're not supposed to eat the seed. <laughs> uh, yeah, but there was a little tiny seed that I accidentally ate. I show you how the tree looks like. Abu. A view. This is how the tree looks like. Very thin, <laughs> nice leaves, but nice fruit. Very delicious. <laughs> okay, I save this for breakfast. Uh. <laughs> So nice to be back with our beloved tent. That's nice, eh? Hey? It's really nice. I had enough of hotels, so I'm really happy. This is amazing. <laughs> so that is us set up for the night. Look at this. Tranquille. <laughs> oh, that's so cool that we found a place to pitch the tent in a beautiful, calm place. Very different to the center of the city. <laughs> it's so nice to be back on the road again and just see new places, experience new stuff, meet new people. It's amazing. What have we got going on in the kitchen? <laughs> 
very Brazilian tortellini. <laughs> I promise we will have some black beans tomorrow <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> but we are having the tortellini with some Brazilian veg. <laughs> So we did about 90 miles today, not too much today, but it was still a really long day. It took us like six hours. Mm -hmm. The traffic, even though it was a public holiday, was crazy in Rio. I think we spent about two hours just going around Rio. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. We will see you next time. That looks like a five-star Michelin dinner. Look at this <laughs> beautiful vegetable. Wow. Oh my God. Bon appetit. Mm. <laughs>